ARDS, or ARDS, stands for Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. It's a medical syndrome that is essentially a severe form of lung injury. So typically, something bad will have happened to the patient, either pneumonia, sepsis, major trauma, severe pancreatitis, and quite quickly after that, their lungs will start to deteriorate. And usually, more than nine times out of 10, will go onto a life support machine and be in intensive care for quite a while thereafter. So the patient will have to be anaesthetized, put onto a life support machine, and then their care there will take a number of weeks if they survive. 30 to 40% of people with ARDS will not survive. Because of the lung damage, uh, the, the interface between the alveoli, which are the air sacs in the lungs, and the blood vessels gets leaky, and fluid and proteins leak out of the blood and fill the lungs up with fluid. Fluid in the lungs uh, creates a scenario where there's so much trouble getting oxygen into the body that often patients end up on a mechanical ventilator in the intensive care unit. I, as the president of Arts Foundation, we are always looking for new research and new therapies. If you consider 200,000 Americans every year are getting this syndrome, and so many of them are dying, we are in desperate need of some sort of treatment, some sort of therapy that will save more lives. In less than a week, I'm in the hospital diagnosed with ARDS. And I looked at my mom and I said, I can't breathe. I think I'm dying. The next four weeks, I was in a medically induced coma. And so when they came back in the room, I was hooked up to tons of machines. I was on a ventilator. I was in a coma. At two weeks, they wanted to pull the plug. They believed that there was nothing else that they could do to help me survive this syndrome. They had run out of ideas and they didn't know what to do. I was able to get out of the hospital in nine weeks. The recovery is tremendous and people have post-traumatic stress disorder and depression and anxiety and um, so many things afterwards. And then if they're dealing phys with physical issues or they're home on oxygen, that multiplies it even worse. So ARDS is a really challenging clinical condition. There is no highly effective or specific therapy for this form of respiratory failure, in which required ventilator support itself can exacerbate and perpetuate lung injury. Essentially, in these patients, we're just doing damage control, attempting to employ minimally injurious ventilation techniques while treating the patient's underlying condition and trying to keep the patient alive long enough so that the inflammatory response can subside and eventually they can get off the ventilator. So Athers has recently completed an exploratory clinical trial evaluating multi-stem cell therapy for the treatment of ARDS patients. Multi-stem is an investigational, off-the-shelf stem cell therapy consisting of a special class of stem cells derived from healthy adult bone marrow. These cells can be produced at large scale and administered without the need for blood or tissue type matching, sort of like type O blood. Prior studies had shown that these cells have very powerful multimodal immunomodulatory properties. They decrease secondary inflammatory tissue injury, but importantly, they do so without suppressing essential anti-infective immune responses. This suggested that multistem might be an effective treatment for ARDS. Results of non-clinical animal studies supported its potential effectiveness, so we then conducted an exploratory human clinical trial to evaluate its safety and effectiveness in these patients. The main objectives of the study and our primary endpoints were to evaluate the safety and tolerability of multi-stem in this critically ill patient group with severe hypoxemic respiratory failure. We also assessed and compared clinical outcomes like mortality, ventilator-free days, and ICU-free days within the first few critical weeks after the patient was diagnosed with ARDS and placed on a ventilator. So the multi-stem study is a fantastically exciting study. You give the stem cells intravenously and all the blood from the whole body flows through the lungs first. And we believe with all the inflammation 
uh, and process going on in the lungs that the stem cells will typically lodge there and they'll probably transmigrate from the blood vessels in the lungs into the damaged alveolar and inflamed parts of the lungs and there we think they'll start to exert their positive healing effect. We really believe there's good hope for us to alter the whole outcome of some of these patients with ARDS. Decreasing inflammation and starting healing more quickly will lead to a more complete uh, and faster recovery for the patient, which would mean that they could come off mechanical ventilation sooner, leave the ICU sooner, go home sooner, and hopefully uh, regain uh, as much of their normal function as possible uh, as they continue their recovery at home. The results from the must Art study were very encouraging. Although as an exploratory study with safety as the primary endpoint, we saw some exciting trends in efficacy for the multi-stem treated patients. For instance, regardless of whether you looked at the mean or median values, the multi-stem treated patients had more days off the ventilator and more days out of the ICU compared to the placebo treated patients during the first 28 days following treatment. These are meaningful results that are critical to patient recovery. And in fact, the patients that received multi-stem had a lower mortality rate of 25% compared to the 40% mortality observed in the placebo-treated patients in the first 28 days. We also did a prospectively planned subgroup analysis where we looked at the most severely affected ARDS patients. These are patients that had a PA-FiO2 ratio lower than 150 millimeters mercury. These are the patients with the most severe impairment of the lung's ability to oxygenate the blood. So very sick ARDS patients with a high risk of death. Consistent with the total study population, in this subset of patients, the data demonstrated better clinical outcomes for those that received multi-stem treatment. Specifically, 50%, half of patients among this group receiving placebo, died during the initial 28-day assessment period. In contrast, only 25% of the similarly severe multi-stem treated patients died. Clinical investigators also observed meaningful treatment favorable differences in ventilator-free days and ICU-free days. We and the clinical investigators are immensely grateful to the patients and their families who agreed to participate in this early study and are really encouraged by these results. We have communicated these results to the FDA and they subsequently granted the program Fast Track designation, which is a really encouraging validation of the potential for multi-stem as an investigational therapy for ARDS and helps us to expedite the clinical development path moving forward. Our partner in Japan, Helios, is currently conducting an ARDS trial using multi-stem under Japan's recently implemented accelerated approval system for cell therapy products. Under this new framework, cell therapies may be granted conditional or full approval depending on the clinical trial results. Conditional approval with full reimbursement under the national healthcare system in Japan is granted for seven years as long as the data demonstrates a consistent safety profile and efficacy data suggesting evidence of clinical benefit. Following this type of approval, the sponsor has seven years to conduct a confirmatory study to validate the efficacy and receive full approval. Alternatively, if the data from the initial trial is strong enough, it's possible that the full approval may be granted right away instead of conditional approval. The trial in Japan is called the OneBridge study and is well underway. Here in the United States, we are preparing for the next phase of clinical testing of multi-stem for ARDS, which we believe will be a phase three clinical trial. So I think the crucially important thing with uh, the multi-stem study is that this is a whole new approach to uh, improving the outcome for ARDS. And the multi-stem approach, which is to try and put in stem cells which have a much more pleiotropic, a much broader effect on the whole inflammatory process, we think that novel approach really does hold hope for the future.